hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel uh, last video i talked f about the um, cube you will see here and um, i also mentioned that i'd like to rebuild it um, why i want to do that is to make it uh, low profile uh, hopefully save some weight on the on the setup itself as uh, this one is 49 grams uh, as is and make it a bit more usable uh, by putting a um, battery holder uh, from my own design so um, I'm gonna use basically all these parts uh, simple canopy uh, typical canopy um, I'm gonna use a beta FPV board it's a 12 amps board uh, in version 1.3 the latest one right now um, why this one because um, in France is the easiest one you can get because basically you can get it on Amazon and have it delivered in two days for uh, the uh, Jeopardy Gepercy uh, it takes way longer uh, Pyro is wrong one, nameless, whatever, uh, takes a huge amount of time. So this one is the easiest to get, so that's why it's here. Um, I'm gonna put this battery holder, which is uh, my very own design. I, I have done this for Pickles uh, frames and uh, any frame that have a whoop mount pattern for the flight controller because it fits uh, everywhere. And I'm also going to replace the, the VTX by this TBS Unify Pro Nano. It's the old one, but it's uh, sufficiently good for what we do, so um, why not use it here? It's 25 milliwatts or 15 milliwatts maximum, I don't remember, but it's way sufficient on this kind of building. We don't need 400 most of the time. 99% of the time. Um, that's all, so let me just solder all the stuff and uh, show you the final result. Um, I hope to manage to make a way better looking machine, hopefully. Just forgot to mention one thing, um, why I do replace the VTX, because the the default one, which is a Pro 32 from uh, TBS, is um, soldered on a 16 by 16 board made by Diaton, which is very nice. But uh, I feel that I'll spend quite some time to unsolder these things and dismantle it and put it in the, um, in the new build. So I will leave that for another, another occasion, another time. So that's why I replace it with the TBS Unified Pro uh, old version, first version. Um, which, by the way, I think is a bit, bit lighter than this one. So it's uh, way more convenient to make a lightest build uh, out of this. Before starting to mess up with um, all, the, uh, all the parts and builds and mods, let's just take a quick look at the... Um, at some of the components on the, the build um, that I'd like to, to focus on. Um, so uh, I dismantled basically all the Dayton cube and uh, let's take a look at, at, um, at the parts themselves. So this is the, the frame. That's once dismantled, it's just uh, amazing. It's just so light and so so stiff and so and so nice basically um, but let's let's see how some of the things um, uh, scales weights and stuff like that so the frame itself is uh, 5.7 grams which is very uh, very nice um, I'd also like to add a DVR on the build. This is the Runcam DVR board uh, with a custom mount that will basically come um, on the board. The board will be um, upside down 
will be flipped in the, in the, the big game gonna do because you don't have um, a cut for the USB port to to come down. So you have to flip the board. You can do you can you can do um, any work around or something on this board on this uh, frame. Sorry. So the DVR with this custom uh, TPU mount comes up like uh, like this on the, the board. So it's a bit off-centered, but uh, it leaves the USB port uh, reachable. And this this mount by itself with the board is five grams. So um, on such a build with a DVR, you you have some extra weight. Now you can get the um, Happy Model Diamond uh, VTX Plus DVR, which is um, a convenient solution because it uh, mixes both uh, recording and video transmission. So it can come out uh, lighter than than what I'm gonna build right now. But that's the one I have uh, laying around for months, so I'm gonna use it because uh, I don't want to, to, to buy something new for this, uh, this build. And the other thing I'd like to focus on is the motors. Now, these are the Namba Diaton 1103 uh, 8.5 8 uh, kV which is uh, one of the smallest uh, motors on this uh, product lineup and it comes out at 4.27 uh, it's not the lightest but I think you can find heavier motors as well so <laughs> as they perform very good um, they are perfectly fine for a 2S build and what else do I have? I I'm gonna also use my custom pickle battery holder that basically will be screwed um, it doesn't really matter will be screwed under the the frame and the, when the balls on top will hold it and it will allow me to mount the battery sideways because it will be more durable and uh, you get more stable flight uh, you slide it in and you slide it out like this and this part by itself is uh, notice the screws the part is 1.8 grams but you have three long screws that will hold all the thing in place so it, it is at uh, 277 now there is basically one gram of screws here um, okay so let's go to the to the build itself let's assemble all the things up and see how how they come if you look closely right now the wall fitting makes it a way less uh, more compact machine uh, which will probably be more durable and uh, more stable uh, in flight hopefully um, not that the original diaton has a stability problem or something but i prefer it to be this way so um, let's continue and see how it gets this is actually my very very first <laughs> micro build um, it comes from an, a time where uh, pickle doesn't exist it's about two years ago it's a pepper fish 2s build a bit customized with a battery holder and uh, two holders on the side to put the vtx and the um, xm that i took from here in fact um, because it was quite complicated to put things on the top of the board uh, so just to talk about this little guy that flew a few times but it was very complicated at the time to get something very satisfying especially that uh, the super ice bar uh, is fried it, it, it tends to fry very often so let's go back to the um, to the cube and uh, finish the assembly and then make a quick uh, video on
All right, so here is the final result. Um, so um, I put the IO board down there, the VTX uh, just above it, um, and the VTX is on top of that. So you have a quite nice build that everything fits okay. The um, motor wires were uh, long enough uh, once and soldered for the Mamba F uh, the Mamba OSC to go to this board, so I didn't have to extend or something like that. Um, I also put a custom uh, battery connector. Okay, I rebuilt basically the one from Beta FPV. Um, what can I say? Yes, the 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 build is quite easy if you don't put the um, the DVR board uh, because you have basically to solder four or five things uh, to to solder the motors or even if you have motors with connectors, you can use it. You you can use it them directly. But adding the DVR board is quite a pain because you have to stack all the boards and uh, make sure that everything fits. If you look closely. The, the whole assembly build is not taller, even uh, it's, uh, even a bit uh, shorter <laughs> than the default uh, 16 by 16 uh, stack from uh, Diaton. So it, it's still it's still low profile. Um, you can go further. For sure, if you don't put the, the VTX, um, if you want to, to to make such a build with a, um, a DVR and you don't you don't have uh, already one, maybe you should take a look at the Happy Model Diamond VTX plus DVR because it will be um, way smaller and way easier to to put in such a build, and you you. Uh, as it's, it's a combo, uh, it's mm, even more convenient to, to install in, in such a build. Um, last but not least, let's see how how much weight we have added to the build. Um, if you remember well, my my original build that I just modified a little to add the the the, the RX uh, and change the canopy was around forty nine grams. So it was uh, on the EV side of the toothpick class, but it was still okay. Um, so this one will come out at 81 with the battery. With the battery, it's a bit heavy, but you can put a smaller battery uh, as the one I use here. It's the four uh, four hundred fifty from uh, Tattoo, and um, get around uh, seventy grams. Which would be fine for a toothpick machine. Um, the quad itself is uh, 53 grams. So compared to the one uh, that I used before, the, which has, was almost genuine, um, there is only a 4 gram difference. So just 4 more grams. So it's quite okay um, with the other gear and other DV, uh, DVR board or something like that. You can even go uh, more close to the 50 grams quite easily. It's not a, it would, wouldn't be very complicated. Um, and as you can see, I put uh, let's let's keep the focus. Uh, I put this um, mount. To be able to put the battery sideways, why do that? Because you 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 are supposed to get better flight characteristics on that on that kind of machine uh, by putting the battery this way, and also when you crash, when you have a front crash, side crash, or whatever you you want, the battery remains in place. It won't uh, it, it won't move forward or backwards, uh, which on the the default diaton cube you 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 you, you, you can buy pre-made by uh, diaton uh, could be a problem because if if the battery goes uh, goes out it can practically remove the wires uh, destroy all the, all that's in the all that's in the the, the, the stack or things like that which we don't want.
<laughs> obviously. Um, I'm not very satisfied with my antenna mount, but it's just a detail. Uh, it can be uh, done with uh, with another canopy. By the way, you may know that I have published all those canopies and dif the different vari variations with antenna mounts uh, on Thingiverse. I will put the link in the description of the video. It's called the Pickle Canopy. So it's uh, five or six different versions fitting the needs you want. I guess the lightest is one gram seventy, the heaviest is two grams seventy, something like that. Um, and they just press fit on the on the screws. So it's uh, it's quite convenient and easy to, to install in a build. Um, what can I say else? Uh, it's about all. I just like to remember that Diatom sells uh, this wonderful frame uh, as a standalone product. It's about fourteen dollars, I guess. So you can basically uh, make your very own uh, own build uh, based on that frame quite easily. You just have to to get the the right parts or the parts you want and uh, do whatever you you want. I will put uh, all the infos in the. Um, in the description of the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like what I do uh, here or on other projects, open source projects uh, uh, like the one on Thingiverse, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks a lot and see you next time with the flight video because uh, I won't put one in this video. I have to do the whole setup and as the flight controller is reversed, I have to, to remix all the motors before and make sure that everything works right. See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.